I'm gonna try to beat Pokemon Y using only shiny Pokemon. I managed to remove the shiny lock, meaning even legendaries can be miscolored. So yeah, this run's gonna be a fun one. Will I find these shinies or will I end up in a retirement home by the time this is done? I have no clue, but let's get this adventure started. After waking up in the small town of Venneville, I freshened myself up and found a bird just chilling inside. That seems like a hazard just waiting to happen. I went for a quick morning walk and bumped into my friends hanging out without me. Ouch guys, that one hurt. They then proceeded to call me Lil D. Come on guys, you know I'm insecure about that. I'm starting to think these people aren't my friends after all. If these guys aren't gonna be my friends, I needed to find some friends elsewhere. And a normal Pokemon is not cool enough for that, is it? So what's the plan here? Let's go find a diseased friend. Here's what happened. Yo, yo, we got it! Yes! Oh! <laughs> that took so long, but we did it! Oh, thank you. Thank you. We got our shiny Fennekin. Oh my word. Okay, let's go try it out in battle. And here comes our Fenny. Check it out. We got the gray and red. Wow. Oh, I love that. Okay, we can move on with the run. <laughs> with Fenny by my side, it was time to begin my journey. After saying my goodbyes, I left Vanneville Town and ended up in Santa Loon Forest, where I started mindlessly leveling up my Fennekin, and I came up with a great idea. How about we raise the stakes? If one of my teammates faints, not only am I gonna have to not use them again, but I have to release them. So yeah, let's try this out. After some more roaming around and a quick good luck prayer to this Roselia statue, I tried my luck at the first gym. Even though Viola did have a Surge kit, this battle still went, well, at least pretty smoothly. A critical hit there would have ended me and there is no way I'm gonna be releasing any of my teammates, so we need to get stronger. And what's better than one shiny Pokemon? Well, two shinies of course. Let's go find our next teammate. I traveled through a labyrinth, found a golden Clamperl statue. What an interesting way to spend government revenue. You. Huh. And after taking down some more trainers, it was time for Fenny to evolve. I don't care if I get called a furry for this, but I think that's a magnificent shiny. I then made it to Lumio City, visited Psychomore who gave me a Charmander who I named... Oh. Which I of course released. After this, I practiced my skating, found your mum lying on this bridge... <laughs> and then went hunting for my next teammate. Here's what happened. Yo! 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 We got an Esper shiny! Let's go! Okay, it wasn't the AG Slash, but I'll take that for sure. It even matches Breaks and Scholar scheme. Okay, let's throw a Great Ball. We did it! We got our shiny Esper. And you know what, Esper? I'm gonna call you Max. With that little pink panther by my side, it was time to keep on going. Next up, I chased the dog, caught the dog, watched fireworks with Shauna, and got into this battle which was not even close. Okay, not even close. Yeah, I really need to level up my Esper. Huh, anyways, I hopped on the back of a Rhyhorn, explored this very dark cave, this literally looks like a horror game. And then destroyed Team Flare. It's been way too long since our last gym battle though, so let's try this out. Before the battle though, I made sure to do some training and max evolve during the way. I think that yellow looks awesome on him. Now let's go take on Grant. I thought I was prepared enough, but I guess not. Amora was easy enough, although her paralysis sucked. Tyrant was a lot harder though, and I mean a lot. Check this out. Dude, we got crit to 5 health. Oh my god. Even Brakeson ended up almost fainting here, and this run cannot keep on going like this. Come on, it's all down to this. If he crits, we lose. If he doesn't, we win. Please. Yes, we got it. Oh, this was way too close. I think it's time to increase our arsenal and go find our third shiny. I made my way to Geosenge Town, found the Stonehenge, got attacked by a gang of Lucarios, I showed them dominant style, and I regained my consciousness as I looked at myself in the mirror. I then almost died to Holucha and finally made it out the cave. I was gonna continue on with the plot here, but I found this patch of grass with some awesome Pokemon, so like any logical human, I devoted the next hours of my life for some different colored pixels. I totally have a social life. Anyways, here's what happened. <gasps> we got a shiny Tauros! Yes! Oh, oh, that's so good! I'm so happy. I've never used one before. Let's go! Okay, let's try and catch it. A shiny Tauros is mine. Nice. You know what? I think he looks like a mic. With that puke green bull on my team, it was finally time to make some progress. Next up, Tierno gave me his mysterious rock. I think he's into astrology. I then went to the Tower of Mastery where I completely destroyed my rival. Well, at least almost. Holy sh**. Wow, that was close. Oh, by the way, he got another critical hit. I'm literally on the edge of having to release shinies constantly, so I think I'll do the smart and mature thing here. I'll challenge the next gym without leveling, because what's life without a little risk? So after taking out the gym trainers, it was time for Corinna. And I've always wondered, how on earth does she get her hair sticking out her helmet like that? I can just imagine her reaching through the small holes in her helmet, desperately trying to pull her hair out of it to look like that. Just how I'd be trying to get the last Pringle out of the can at 3 a.m. Found your mum? lying on this bridge. <laughs> <laughs>
Anyways, let's take her on. You know how I said this was gonna be a risk? Well, I pretty much one-shot her whole team, so yeah, not too bad. With the third gym badge under my belt, it was time to keep on going. I surfed over this massive ocean, rode this goat, and made it to Kumarine City where I started my preparations for the fourth gym. While leveling up, my team breaks and finally evolved, and wow, does the shiny Delphox look amazing. I could try and create an interesting storyline here and pretend to lose, but it's Ramos. I mean, the guy's ace is literally a goat, so yeah, we completely destroyed him. After after this, I made my way through the desert and into this power plant where things finally took a turn for the worse. Wait, what? You got a crit? Dude, no, no, Max, no, oh, are you kidding me? Of course this stupid other cat would kill my cat. We were like 10 levels higher than him. This sucks. That was literally so avoidable. What am I doing? <sighs> Anyways, after taking revenge on every single Team Flare member and the power plant, it was time for Max's funeral. I'm so sorry, Max. I hate that it has to come down to this, but a promise is a promise. And Max, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to release you. Oh, I don't wanna do this. Oh, this hurts. Release this Pokemon. I guess I have to. Three, two, one. No, <laughs> it's gone so fast. Oh. Oh, ah, I'm so sorry, Max. We need to do better. Without Max by my side, I felt empty. I lost my second teammate who's been with me since the first gym. I didn't really have much else to do now apart from beating the game show and taking on the fifth gym leader. This time, there was no stopping us as I ran a train through his entire team. Nice try, Clement. Maybe next time. With that out the way, it was time to recoup after our massive losses. I met up with this guy and his crazy haircut, went to Route 14, destroyed Serena, and watched Chona temporarily break the fourth wall. That was weird. I then visited this haunted house where the scariest thing was probably the tip of a thousand bucks that I gave him. Worst haunted house ever. But hey, we're nearly at the sixth gym with only two Pokemon and that has to change. I kind of like the route I'm on to be honest. So let's try and find, I guess, our fourth shiny. Yo, 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 we got a shiny Skirupi. Yes. Oh, oh, that looks awesome. Oh, I love that. What a cool shiny. Okay, let's try not to kill the wrong one. All right, awesome. Let's try and catch our shiny Skirupi. Yes, we're making a comeback. Shiny Skirupi, welcome to the team. And I'm gonna call you November. With that awesome new find, I think it's time to go make some progress. I made my way to Laverse City where I found a Pokeball factory, spotted a lot of poisonous mushrooms. That has to be a health risk. I went in the house of mushrooms to confront the owner about this, but turned Turns out she was actually the gym leader, and I am not willing to take any more risks. So what did I do? I leveled up Scroopy all the way to 40, and it was time to turn this guy into a beast. That shiny Drapion looks crazy. Let's see if he can hold his weight in battle though. Here comes Valerie. Well, Moa went down to one hit, and I sent out Drapion next, but he actually almost got one hit. I'm a bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. At least Delphox easily clutched the rest of the battle out, and I'm not sure what I'd do without her, and thankfully, I don't have to. We're on a roll, so let's keep it up. After getting Getting the 6th gym badge, I went for a tour at the Pokeball factory where they tried to kidnap Shona and then kill me. Uh, I don't think I signed up for this. At least after I took down the Team Flare admins, I got rewarded a Master Ball, which will definitely come in handy later on. Just wait and see. Next up, I run through Route 15 straight to Dandemil Town, where it always seems to be snowing, which brings me to the question, why on earth do they have farmland here? Well, hey, let's not question the biology here, and let's keep on going. I raided the Frost Cavern, surfed on ice, and took out Team Flare. These battles keep on getting harder and harder, so we're gonna need a new teammate. And this cave is the perfect place to find one. Yo, we got a shiny! Yes! Oh, that took way too long. Oh, let's go. It might not be the best shiny, but hey, it's a shiny. Let's take it. I'm so happy. That took too long. All right, let's go for the catch. Come on, Smoochum. Let's get it. Yes, we got it. <laughs> we got our fourth shiny Pokemon. Awesome. And Smoochum, I'm gonna call you Lucy. Smoochum might not be the best shiny, but hey, after all that hunting, I'm just excited to keep going. Next up on my adventure, I hopped on the back of a Mamoswine, traveled through the depths of Siberia, and made it to Anastar City, ready to take on the seventh gym leader. Serena tried to slow me down here, but we all know how that ended. After a bit of leveling, Smoochum evolved into a Jinx, and to be honest, I really like that shiny. What I don't like, though, is that it's yet another psychic type. Look, I know I'm smart and all, but I don't want any more brain type Pokemon. But anyways, with a pretty formidable team, I walked in this random house which literally exploded and turned into a gym. Well, that isn't dangerous at all. After figuring out this labyrinth, I finally made it to Olympia for my second to last gym badge. And this time, Drapion actually did great. He took out Olympia's entire team and earned us our seventh gym badge. Remember when I said that Master Ball would come in handy? I got rewarded a Master Ball. Which well, we're finally approaching that time. I ran all the way back to Lumia 
Lumio City, raided the Flare Cafe, took down Lysander at the Lysander Labs, took down the admins too, found this weird old guy in jail. What are you doing in there? I then made it to the basement and pressed this massive red button. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, that's bad. Let's go see what's up. I ran all the way to Geosench Town and raided Lysander's secret headquarters where it was finally time to get down to business. After clearing out the place of bad guys, I unlocked the door to the vault and I broke in. After taking down these clones, it was finally time for what we've all been waiting for. Let's shiny hunt this Eveltal. And eventually, this is what happened. <gasps> yo! Yo! We got a shiny Eveltal, yes! Oh, that's so awesome! That's such a big win! We did it! That's so good! <laughs> oh, we got it! Look how cool it looks! Oh, that white suits it so well! What a sick Pokemon! Okay, we haven't caught it yet. Let's not get too excited. It's time. We're gonna pull out the Master Ball. Can we get it? One, two, and three. We caught ourselves a shiny Eveltal. What a sick Pokemon. Give a nickname to Eveltal. Yes, we're gonna call you... We're gonna call you Burb. I think it's pretty fitting. With that massive miscolored monster on my team, I think it's time to start hammering out the end game. Lysander tried to challenge me after this and steal my shiny legendary, but as you can probably guess, there was no chance. After making it out of that exploding headquarters James Bond style, I flew to Anistar City and started finishing up my adventure. I ran through these flowery fields, smashed Psychomore. Wait, no, not like that. I then crossed the bridge and made it to another snowy town. Before taking on the gym, I had to take a small detour through this forest and into the Pokemon village, which actually feels really cozy. I could see myself living here, to be honest. But anyways, let's go get that eighth and final gym badge. I unfortunately couldn't use that Eveltal shiny here because of those stupid ice types, but hey, at least Delphox clutched it out. I then surfed my way out the gym and headed towards my final challenge. I then presented my gym badges to the victory road and started my journey to the Elite Four. I think we're all noticing an issue though. I'm about to take on the champion, but I only have five Pokemon and that has to change. After walking past this beautiful waterfall, I felt motivated to hunt for our final teammate. After making quick work of Serena, I started my hunt for my final shiny Pokemon and this is how it went. <gasps> Yo! We got it! We got our final shiny! Yes! Yo, we got a Haunter shiny! Okay, that might be the worst shiny in the entire game, but hey, a shiny's a shiny and we'll take it. We did it! That's the last one. Okay, let's try and catch it. We got our final seventh shiny Pokemon, and we can take on the Elite Four. Let's do this. And we are gonna name her Boo. With perhaps the most mid shiny of all time on my team, it was finally time to go do this. After evolving my Haunter, I realized that this run has been a bit too easy, and I thought, you know what? Let's up the the stakes for the champion. If even one of my Pokemon get KO'd against Diantha, I have to release my entire team. That means all my hard work for these shinies would all go down the drain in an instant. So yeah, let's not let that happen. Here we go guys, let's try this out. I made quick work of the Elite Four because that shiny Eveltal is an absolute monster. We eventually made it to Diantha for our final battle and it started off amazing. Eveltal easily one-shot the whole Lucha to start off with. Next up was a Tyrantrum which got one hit by a Jinx. That's pretty embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. Gujo went down shortly after too, and so did Gorgeist. What I didn't realize, however, is that even though Aurorus was easy enough, it did have time to set up Reflect. Last up was Diantha's ace, her Mega Gardevoir, which I expected to be a complete sweep, but I couldn't have been more wrong because this is what happened. Now let's go for that Shadow Claw and get an easy win. Wait, what? Wait, why did it do that little? What do you mean? Wait, oh, wait, did Aurora set up Reflect? No, you're kidding me. I know I'm smart and all. Oh no, no. Oh, I have to switch out here. Gengar is gonna get one shot. Tauros is gonna get one shot. Delphox is gonna get one shot. Jinx is gonna get one shot. It has to be Drapion. Oh, come on, Drapion, please. Please clutch this out. No. Oh, we're not gonna be faster here either. Yeah, Gengar, Gengar. That's our only chance. No, what? My special attack fell. Oh, this was gonna be it. What do you mean? No way. What are the odds? I think if I literally send out anybody right now, they're all gonna get KO'd. Okay, we should be faster. Uh, the only chance I have at not getting KO'd right now is going for a Thunderbolt, being faster, and paralyzing her. And she has to get mobilized by paralysis, and then we need to hit a crit after. Whatever. Wait, it's, it's faster than us. It's faster. Dude. What do you mean? Are you kidding me? Is, is that how this is gonna end? There goes November 2. There goes Mike. Wait, is Reflect still up? There's no way Reflect still up. I guess it doesn't matter at this point, though, because we're, we're, we're pretty much done for. Damn it. And it's gonna go for the Shadow Ball, get the one hit. Oh, we lived. And we get paralyzed. What the f***? Oh, nothing's on our side today, dude. There goes Delphox. Okay, but let's hit the Shadow Claw and get the KO. And win. Uh, 
I guess it's a win. This really sucks. Even though we beat the challenge, we failed the one and only quest that mattered, which was to not get KO'd. And as I promised earlier, I guess here goes me releasing literally everybody. I guess as promised, guys, here we go. First, we have Mike Artaros. I'm so sorry, my friend, but... Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. Next up, we have Lucy the Jinx. Oh, then we have November the Drapion, and I'm sorry, but... Oh... We have Gengar, you haven't been with us for long, and he won't be with us for much longer, because my friend, you are getting released. Oh, Delphox, you've been here since day one, so this really hurts to say, but I'm gonna look away, I can't do this. Oh, oh, <laughs> and last but not least, we have our crown jewel, Eveltal. Oh, this really sucks, I don't wanna do this. So Eveltal, thank you for this journey. It was a lot of fun, but unfortunately, I think it's over. Release this Pokemon? Yes. Oh, my heart. I guess that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please, please, please drop a subscribe for that. Because that was not fun. But hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and peace out.